We are on draft number four on our Mythic run, hot off 2023. I'm currently plat three with a pip because we got lucky on our previous draft getting to seven wins. My name's Eclectics and now it's drafting time. We now got Abuelo for <laughs> as our opener. Ooh, this is pretty exciting. We are passing spring loaded saw blades though. That's the perfect one of the perfect targets for Abuelo. Uh, there's Itali's favor. There's volatile wander glyph. We might not be able to. Uh, be blue white but that's a, an awesome open right here unlucky drop is great so we're looking for a mural we're looking for the uh the bat the uh the blue uh tapper yeah those are the perfect targets for abuelo let's see if we can Great. Whoa. Uh, and then it's Miner's Guidewing here. If we're going to go with Abuelo, Miner's Guidewing as a start is great, but I'm not ignoring a braid because we might, we might not be blue white. Because if our neighbor here past red we might not get blue cards because if that uh an uncommon is missing in this pack that could mean like zoetic glyph or something like that hit the mother load <laughs> not a card a braid is again we're Pretty much passing a really good miner's guide wing here if we uh oh yeah maybe i mean i don't know let's uh, see if a braid is something yeah and this pack does not have anything at all this pack's got zero it contains black cards there's a blue card there's a green card we're going to continue with the red train here not really a train yet, but Red Red is better than Deep Root Pilgrimage, Dauntless Dismantler. Actually, that's pretty useful if uh, we're going with Abuelo, but again, Red was passed. So, assuming that we can be Red White or Red Blue, Abuelo can still be a splash with base red because of the plundering pirate or if you get stuff like the cartographer's companion so yeah it's rumbling rock slide as my pick here yeah we're not getting anything yeah it'll be the dino pick here Anything else that's really, really useful? Not really. So if green and red's being passed, red, green dinos, let's go. Abuelo seems to be so far off now. We're not seeing white cards. We're not, we're, we saw a lot of black cards in, uh, in, in uh, pick three, but I think... Armored King Collar is being passed as pick four. Maybe an indication, so we'll see. This. There's Foundry. Doesn't really matter with the first two picks. We're going to take a uh, Sunshot Militia here. Or maybe a Hidden Nursery with the Armored King Collar. Not really a thing. Bat Colony. Thousand Moons, Crackshot. These are all passable. At least the Sunshot Militia actually goes pretty good with the uh, Abrade and 
Rumbling rock slide. If we ever go white. Again, way too early, but this is pick five. So red looking like open right now. Yeah. I'm still saying red looking like open from what it looks like here still. So we'll take the pirate or do we take the hidden volcano? This is passable. It's pretty much passable. The blazing, the brazen blade master. So I think we are going to take the hidden volcano here. Yeah, look at this. There's a uh, Exali's Lord Keeper. Don't really need it on a dino deck, but this one on a dino red green, <laughs> it'll work out fine. Better than Exali's Lord Keeper. Yep. Anything just past that. Okay. Okay. River Herald Guide. Pick eight more than idol of the deep king yeah the burning sun cavalry yeah yep okay dolly's favor here okay it's looking like red green is quite open abuelo yeah didn't turn out to be open here's uh, an idol awesome sad but yeah that's the way it's gotta be uh ancestral we didn't get uh the hidden nursery probably will be able to wield the hidden nursery hodgepodge Luri R. Freitas, Lucifra, Adi, Kyria, Zingax, and Steaky. Yeah, I would still take Abuelo in that spot. I don't even remember what we passed on the Abuelo one. Destroy over the edge might be useful if we can get something like... Ooh, we, we even got the Crazy Blade Master anyway. Uh, if we can grab more artifacts, we so far have two artifacts. What do we open? Yeah, okay. Ooh, okay, so there's a perfectly great red card here. There's also an awesome water wind scout. There's also an Earthshaker Dread Maw. I don't know if we'll be able to get more artifacts. Seems kind of bad, but I mean, the Earthshaker Dreadmaw seems like a better pick than the uh, the Poetic in Ingenuity. Although it can... Alright, we're passing the Earthshaker Dreadmaw. We're hoping to grab more dinos. We're hoping to grab more dinos. Okay. Okay. We were past a Jade Spelunker. Hmm. Pretty good. Twist and turns go with the Jade Spelunker. We can go ahead and scry and uh, explore. These are white cards. Let's hope for the staggering size to wheel. Jade Light Spelunker, sure. That is not an artifact. So in order for this to work, we will need more artifacts than just two artifacts. So maybe prioritize Idol of the Deep King, Sunfire Torches, something like that. 
Plundering pirate as well would be great. Yeah, like that. Plundering pirate, right? Ooh, here's a <laughs> spring loaded saw blades for Abuelo. So, yeah, do we take the removal here versus a plundering pirate? Yeah, we'll take the removal versus plundering pirate. We don't really need a poison dart frog, we don't even have a lot of. Uh, So far, we have one dino, right? Yeah, we have one dino. We might be able to get more, but yeah. Right now, looking like this. Triumphant Chomp still removes like a creature. Yep. So starting to pick up dinos. Great. Please wheel. Please wheel. Red's being passed, so it's a good chance. There might be a chance that this wheels, but yeah, that that's gonna be great. But the Colossodactyl is just awesome on four. So so far these are our removals. Uh, this is trick or whatnot. So four removals. Potentially, and two pretty good tricks with poetic ingenuity, ingenuity, and Obviously, we got the Colossodactyl there. Um, yeah, nothing for us here. Yikes! The best out of this pack is Wailing Pirates. Blade, Brazen Blade Masher doesn't even go with our deck. At this point, it might, but it's just really not great at all. Can we still pivot to Wailing Pirates? Because Wailing Pirates is much better, but... Alright, maybe Buried Treasure and we... Do... Uh, Abuelo? So it's Tishana. <laughs> Blue is open? Pick 6? Or no one wants Tishana? It's rumbling rock slide here. I I can't take Tishana. And then on the go around, Malamut Brawler. How is Tishana still here? Spelunking. If it no, it's three to cast. It's the other one. Uh, twist and turns that we really want. But rumbling rock slide here is okay. Our second one. And then do we already have yeah we already have a hidden volcano that actually is a good thing for abuelo what the heck blue is coming up so if we took blue on pack two this is pick seven i think we're late it's too late is it is it too late red White, blue, or green. I have a couple of great green cards already. Yikes. Ventasaur. Here's a Seeker the Sunlight. Nope. We took the Goblin Tomb Raider. These are iffy cards right now. So, iffy cards. It's looking like this. We can take that, but what for? Hmm. So black is the one that's coming up. Alright, we can take Cartographer's Companion for Poetic ingenu Ingenuity. Alright, maybe Splash Abuelo? Abuelo is blue. <laughs> White and blue. How can we splash Abuelo? What am I talking about? Nothing's wheeling on red and green. So red totally not there. Green also not there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That is not good at all. 
not very treasure. Uh, that means that we're going to have to work hard on pack number three. All right, that's an artifact. That might be in. That is not a thing, but all right. So the dinos didn't wheel. We're going to have to pick up dinos like crazy on pack three open an awesome one like that okay we're not getting these two back but it's quince is great in our deck number of artifacts now have increased to six but we want better pathfinding actual is great cavern stomper is great why are we going dinos? Because of poetic ingenuity. Because we opened a couple of good dinos. But other than that, no other great dinos. Let's hope for these to wheel. I don't think they'll wheel, but it's Quinn's uh, open is fine. Cavern of Souls, of course, we're passing. We have hidden volcano, so. Alright. The Malamut glyph here. We were not able to wheel a Dinatown. Uh, is it removal? Or I think no. I think it's a Dinatomaton here. It's an artifact and a dino. I think that's the right call. So if we can cast this on three, we cast this on four. That's an artifact and a dino. So it'll power Burning Sun's Cavalry. Yeah, I think that's better than uh, the Mammoth Battle Glyph here in this spot. We didn't get back Dinatomaton. But yeah, we want more of those so we can get rid of this. Oh my god, get King Collar. Great, awesome. Yes, then we can get rid of the Goblin Tomb Raider. Not required at all. On the wheel, Walk with the Ancestors is not bad, or the Seismic Monstrosaur. We're passing a Stalactite Stalker. Stalactite Stalker. Hunter's Blowgun is iffy as well. Seeker of the Sunlight is iffy. Those are the iffy cards that we got. Buried Treasure is not so bad. Gold Fury Strider is an artifact and can tap for... Stuff we can have some population. Mm -hmm. Need a good one, need a good one. We'll take a compass gnome as our two drop. We can also have staggering size. We'll take a compass gnome, get rid of seeker of sunlight. We're at 2.8. We need big dudes right now. Compass Gnome is fine because we need to increase our artifact count. Yeah, that is totally fine. Or is it the Sunbird Standard? No, we have too many threes. Ooh, Belligerent Yearling here is great. As a two drop. Then these guys might wheel. I don't think it'll wheel, but belligerent yearling more than the panic altasaur. Yeah, 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 I guess. More than panicked altasaur and nurturing bristle back. Although if we get it, it'll be great. If we can get it back. But the belligerent yearling pass is great on pick five. Get the brazen out. We got the sunbird standard, which we can definitely play instead of the hunter's blowgun. That'll enable a cast of something else. Not abuelo. Uh, cartographer's companion, not really. Sunbird standards, fine. Okay, great. Sunfire torch. Instead of what?
instead of buried treasure. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Brazen Blade Master. What? You're an uncommon synapse necromage. We're not gonna be using these these things. Blue, kind of open. That's pick eight. We're getting our original pack back. One dino, please. No. Ooh. Okay. Full rare draft. That's a mythic. Yeah, we can actually use that instead of the hot foot gnome, I guess. Not really. Maybe it's you. Five. Two drop. Maybe. Whoa. Staggering size is great. Okay. Instead of Sunbird standard, it's staggering size. And Malamed Brawler out as well. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we even got Daring Discovery. All right. Let's see what happened on this draft. So we only have Poetic Ingenuity. Number of artifacts, seven for poetic ingenuity and dinosaur count is six. Okay, that's that may be enough. We're more red than green. We have double green. Well, we don't start with green, man. 10 7. The no more than Sunbird standard. All right. Can we push damage? Have what exactly? 2.7 average with cartographer's companion, a couple of kin collars, a hot foot gnome. Okay. Crumbling rock slide so we can. We also have Jade Light Spelunker and River Herald Guide. Alright, I think this is it. Dinotron. Dino rocks. Rocks because of artifacts matter. We didn't get like a big dino. We were not able to get any big dinos. Which is kind of an issue. Gold Kiri Strider can do trample. Maybe we'll be able to get treasures so we can tap it with Sunshot Militia. Okay, well, yeah. Let's feature Poetic Ingenuity. Let's see where we land. This Abuelo was our first pick, but we weren't able to get any blue and white stuff. White was definitely not open. Yeah. Blue was kind of open, but not really. All right, we'll try this out. 
go. I don't know how to work with uh, poetic ingenuity. I hope we build the right deck for it. We got dinos, we got artifacts. Maybe put in more artifacts, the removal more than creature, but Hotfoot Gnome should serve nicely, I think. We don't have green, so this is a mistake, maybe. Sorry, only one green card. If we draw green, we'd be golden. So maybe go for double green now. Yeah. Ooh, that is pretty good. So that'll allow him to do stuff, wait, and then can't. We'll do hot foot no, my guess. But he can't even double block this. What does he have for one mana? Nothing. If he, all he does is attack. Now he has the, uh, yeah, he has the, the dead. Not a good idea to, um, to do it squints because he's just going to, uh, feed the dead that. This is a sorcery, right? Yeah, so he's... Maybe he has it, maybe he doesn't. What do we think? I think he might not have it. But we'll see. It's join the dead. I'm... Yeah, he has it. He has to have it, right? Because join the dead with this too. He'll just join the dead. Yeah, alright. Join the dead. Hey, what do you know? I'll trade with both of these? Sure. Okay. Let's try and get a treasure. Not great. Should we have waited because we had joined the dead? If we did, what would have happened? I don't know. So we can try. Yeah, we can definitely kill this. Colossodactyl. Oh, no, nope, we're not trading that. It's 
So he might have a discard. We're gonna keep the one land. That now we can go ahead and kill it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if he does that, we can. Mm, we are gonna stay put. One, two, three, four, five. He can't, but this is. We have to get this out off the field. Twenty. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, six. So we can do five on this. And then rumbling rock slide this. Right? Yeah. Not bad, but what else can we do? We can keep doing this, right? And then on the last part, we just get it out. Because if he... It'll be a 6-6. Six, six. And then we can just keep pinging him. Four and then five. Four, one, two, three, four, five. So I can still cast that. That is a seven, seven now. Ah! Oh! Can we raise him? Seven. This is three hits. He's gonna kill this. He might have. He has a lot of power on board. All right, no blocks. I might have been wrong. Six, because we can't attack back. We're going to have to block this now. Now we can't even block it because he's got Spike Tail. All right. Mm, not working out great for us. I am blocking this, but this, we can't even attack through that. So, we're going to have to block. 
I can't block by more than one creature. GG. Uncle Wally, and we flooded this game. We kept drawing lands, unfortunately. And that turn where it squints. Yep. Alright. Oh, here's another first game without anything. Deck not showing up. Come on, deck. Need you on point. We need Poetic Ingenuity, the Colossodactyl, our stuff. Kin Collar didn't even show up to play. Are you even there? Yeah, you're there. You just didn't want to come and play. Come and play, please. Please come and play. You are needed. You are needed for... Uh, maybe the duck doesn't like me like this. Eight, eight, all right, we'll do it like that. See what happens. Uh huh. Didn't like the um. Oh, what we could do is I could put. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. Okay. Volcano again in our opening hand. Playing against Monka S. Mulligan to six. This is blue, okay. Blue, red. Okay. What did he have? He can't really have a lot of stuff. So we're going to have to just do as a two drop. Yeah, all right. That's pretty good, right? Armored kin collar. Man, I'm kind of afraid with what this guy is going to uh, to do with that. But we're going to go on four. All right, I think this is fine. Does not have lands, that's what it is. He got no lands. <laughs> got stuck on two lands. I'm sorry, Monka S.
That was not a game. I'm sorry, Manga S, but yeah. Our hand was not that exciting, but yeah, if you're stuck on two, we're just attacking basically. All right, maybe that guy is not the best because we're supposed to be attacking, right? I think maybe it's supposed to be the Malamed Brawler. Or is it the Sunshot Militia? Sunshot Militia, if we have a lot of treasure tokens, actually works out. Also, drawing it in late game is fine versus the Malamed Brawler. It's only great in the early game. Crashing. That's uh, pretty scary. Sure. Don't have a dino again. Oh. That can actually ensure number four. So we need to guarantee land three. You have to be this. Sure, right? We need a land drop. only a braid that can get this thing out we don't really need anything else but the uh two three this is very awkward we're gonna have to do this I think that's fine. Red, green, he's still hoping for something big, humongous. And if we can please draw a land, well, we can start getting stuff. Thank you. Okay. 
didn't draw anything, but we were struggling with land for some reason. We got ingenuity. Because we got the ingenuity. If we draw green, it'd be so good. Any any untapped time would be great. That is fine as well. Don't want to cast this because it's another... Uh, one for ingenuity. We're going to hold it. We are blocking this for sure. Yeah. Okay. Needed it. Awesome. That thing's going. Alright, cool. We are kind of doing it. Need another land, please. Another land would seal the deal. Or this, right? off the, the board and our dinos are just rocking
That was pretty good. I did not forget to ping from the uh, Sunfire Torch. Was able to just, yeah, get rid of the uh, opposing artifact. Two damage. Get three in. Actually, four because of the ping. We got nothing, but we have removal for days. We're gonna keep it one green will enable the Colossodactyl. Let's please draw some action. Two drop please, two drop, 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 two drop. Two drop, two drop. Two drop. Yes, like that. Now give me a two drop, two drop, two drop. <laughs> King Collar would be so good. King Collar, King Collar, King Collar, King Collar. Come on, call for the cards. King Collar, King Collar, King Collar. Belligerent Earling, King Collar. Belligerent Earling, King Collar. That works as well. We're not gonna keep getting stuff over here, right? Yeah, we'll trade it off because I don't want anything with, with this. We got a lot more stuff. got a couple of rumbling rock slides we can crash anything he just puts in the uh the field that's six damage total that doesn't block Yeah, this should be good, right? Do we retain this? Because this is basically 1-4. Yeah, we do, right? I didn't expect that. We should have casted this pre-combat because Colossus... I really didn't expect the spring-loaded saw blades. Maybe uh, the Cosmo, but not the spring-loaded saw blades. best because does he have an artifact yeah he can craft with an artifact so he'll be able to craft that Another one. I really didn't expect that. That was kind of bad. Should have just let the trade happen. Yep.
Oh, you can craft it. Craft it. It's fine. Yeah. He's going to... Nope, he can't. But this doesn't win. He really doesn't win. He'll be able to crew that, right? He crews... We need another one. We are gonna wait. If we attack, yeah, it doesn't. We need a braid. If we can get a braid, uh, we, yeah, we win. If we can get a braid. Spring loaded saw blades. Yikes. Two. I should have been looking out for it. And I had the uh, I had the ace as well. If we did it properly. But we didn't. Should just let that happen. And then yeah, keep crashing in for spring loaded saw blades wouldn't really do anything. We'll be able to get seven. And we would be so good if that remained on the board. So he has three blockers. Hmm. This one. This is... Nope, 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 nope. We can't. We still don't have it. If he attacks because he has more mana, right? He has more, uh, we have more life. Uh, yeah. For what do you do? Attacks. Well, you have the most life or tied for the most life. You draw a card and you lose one life. Attacks with the most life or tied. Whenever attacks the player with the most life or tied for the most life. 1-1 one, one vamp token. So he's going to create a vamp token with lifelink. That has death touch. Two. Doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. The fact that he has this though. So he has what? He has three blockers currently. We have one trample. Okay. Is this done? Because it's trampling, right? Four versus three. He has two cards in hand. No, he can't do it. He will keep crashing in with this one. Uh, 
I think we destroy it, right? Um, what does he have in hand? We need one more. That's six, because that's six. This will be three. He'll block with two and then remove one. Still not great. So he has three blockers versus five. But one is a 2-1. Not guaranteed. And he can have all sorts of... So not guaranteed. We are not going to. No attacks. But we are going to kill this one. So what we need is something like a Dynatomaton or its queens or Okay, we're gonna crash. If he doesn't play anything on board that's three blockers versus five he has to play something right three if he does four er, not great we need like it's queens to uh to push damage okay Okay. Really doesn't matter at this point. We need something like Idol the Deep King, Itali's favor. Uh a braid. A braid would be awesome. Wow. He still can't attack. We need a braid. It's squint is also great. Come on. Come on, deck. I know we can do it. He's technically at eight right now with uh with a draw he has three blockers and that guy's going to grow can we just push damage even if we push damage it's eight three that's three and then everything's gonna die no okay we're gonna do something next 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 turn then we really can't he needs to have removal with the three cards he has in hand we just need something to remove one. Oh, he ha oh no he has that so he's going to get five oh and yeah uh, we lost this. Yeah, it's indestructible. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Oh. 
We lost it because we just, I don't know, we're not drawing anything. Idol of the Deep King, way too late, dude. Just one turn too late. Four blockers. Three. Four. I can't attack. One, two, three, four, five. Can we, uh, what can we draw? Itali's favor, it's Quinn's. It's a braid. Triumphant Charm, it's Queens. If we pass, if we, this is five, we don't, we can, we can't. We need to draw something, that's, that's all it is, all there is to it. And if something dies on my side, that also goes. So if he had decides to attack with this, we're blocking for sure. Okay. He's got a lot of lands. And yeah, we lost it because of... Totally the end for us. How did he? Uh oh, he uh, he was up because of fanatical offering and mathetic drought. He had like a lot. Yeah, we lost and the turn where we uh, had Colossodactyl killed off. Very unfortunate. Yeah, no blocks. Five, Terran, eight, we need to do eight damage, Daring Discovery, ooh, we should put Daring Discovery here, because if we have Daring Discovery, right, he'll only be able to block with one, ten, If we get removal, something rock slide or something. It's Quinn's. Do we win? So one, two, three, four, and then this is three, right?
Yeah, I didn't know they were joining the dead. Yeah. yeah, we really had no way out. That was the the only thing. So if uh, nope, if if that happened, right? Six. He's still at sixteen. He's still dead. Yeah, this is really nothing to uh, to really do. Uh, he's just going to. Just doing the blocks and stuff. But we really lost on that turn where we had staggering size. We weren't able to keep it. Because that guy would have remained and yeah. Let's continue. That was disappointing though. Disappointing for me because that was a total misplay. I should have just let it happen or maybe just didn't even attack but I did and we paid for it yeah doesn't really matter like if he attacks with the dino like a kin collar doesn't matter cuz oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely then. possibly uh, land. Oh, okay there's a kin collar so you can double attack with this and that's four we have a braid We're going to a braid right Or do we do a power with the kin collar? We can't even block with this. We're on the back foot right now. On four, what can we do? Well, we can trade off with this, right? Three, it'll be a four though. And then what? We can't trade off with this one. It'll have to be. What the hell? We weren't able to uh, cast our Sunfire Torch? Yeah, that was a bad play. That was a really bad play. can't keep taking this we'll have to attack three if we had casted this it we would have been fine we don't even have a dino no Could have equipped attack take three. Not attacking this turn. We are gonna take out one. Maybe that's one more. Wow. Okay. Well. Okay. That was such a bad thing that uh, would happen. So 
Should be able to cast that dino though, we're told. We need rumbling rock slide or we are goners. I think we got this. <sighs> we still got through even... Still got there even when we flooded and we made a misplay. Thank you, Duck, but please don't flood. <laughs> please draw some action. Yeah, we're at four wins. G Unity doesn't want to show up. Um, the King Colors are very timid. They're very shy. Um, the Burning Sun's Cavalry isn't, but without any dinos to support them, they're basically just doing nothing. One, three, no two drop, but this is fine. No poetic ingenuity as well. Does the ward...
Really? Okay. It's a six four. How do we get rid of it? Three. I can't staggering size, it's not gonna work. This one with staggering size though. Three two three is gonna hit, right? See if he trades. He does. Okay. Finality counter. I can't outvalue him. We have one, two, three. So if I rumbling rocks like this, you know, I only have a three drop that has a finality counter. This one is what exactly? It's a hot foot gnome. We're not drawing our ingenuity, unfortunately. We want to push damage, but how? Alright, that's the best. Wait. This is 5 damage. Sacrifice is a creature. 
Not getting this in our favor. Thirteen. How do we get back from this? His value is insane. He's got like five cards. Chupacabra right now for six. Which we can't even do anything about. Six. through this you don't even have uh hmm. for a no then what maybe I mean Idol of the Deep King Transformation. So far, we've been blessed with lands, and our opponent just has one, two, three, four, five, six lands versus our eight lands, and he's drawn. A lot of more cards. He's got four more cards than we do. Yeah, this draft has not been particularly good for us. So if we attack right now, we risk basically getting screwed. Because four, this is three, he'll block. We just basically feed nine. Not a winning strategy. And he'll block for sure. Alright, there's nothing else I can do. Let's just do it. do we have we've already screwed with sunfire torch we also don't have the uh dynatomaton if he doesn't have anything Atali's favor it's quince doesn't work sunshot militia sunshot militia will work Sunshot Militia, please. Sunshot Militia, please. Sunshot Militia off the top, please. Definitely flooded. 100% flooded. Oh, now he's got Grass and Shadows. Yeah. Okay, that's the end for us. Even if we get uh, 
even if we get ooh a braid what does that do it's an enchantment he's gonna attack again he's gonna go back go up to 11 um uh, he's gonna draw a card yeah Man, I I would have wished that we didn't flood, but we flooded hard. Like nine cards on the top twenty, nine lands off the top twenty. Our well, meanwhile, our opponent one one land off of what the heck? So most of these are lands. Most of these are lands. Most of it's lands. Kind of salty because this is not a normal game of magic. Most of the, even the games that we won weren't normal games of magic. Yeah, flooding every game just wasn't great. It really wasn't. Hmm. Maybe we really need to be on the lands. <laughs> Look at this craziness. We're already flooding, and we still drew into the guy that actually gets us more lands. And then on the one game that... <sighs> Very disappointing. Not because I misplayed, not because... Uh, there were decisions to make or anything like that. It's because we... We flooded. Not awesome, not awesome. Did not like our losses at all. We uh, just lost 100 gems, but I thought the deck was pretty good. We didn't have a lot of top end, and maybe this is why we needed to play more stuff. Uh, like uh, the Malamed Brawler, maybe. Or another uh, Idol of the Deep King. Yeah, maybe that, that should have been the, the case. Idol of the Deep King. Because if we drew into an Idol of the Deep King when he was at 2, that would have just ended the game. Yeah. And then this would have been... Yeah, this would have been 16. Yeah, maybe this is how it's supposed to be. I don't know. But yeah, it was very sad. Six dinos. When it worked uh, on the one game that uh, we got poetic in ingenuity to work, it was so good. It was really so good. But yeah, that was just one game out of the seven games. Anyway, we, uh, yeah. We got four wins. Not bad, not great, but... It just evened out. We got a pip off of this. We didn't even go to uh, plat 2, I think. We were stuck on plat 3. But yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's claim it. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, why don't you smash that like button? Please consider subscribing and check out my other vids. See you on the next one.